They perform under the bright lights on the field, court, and track. When they are wearing the Marywood colors across their chest, they're the smiling faces in the classroom. But there are so much more to these Pacers. Welcome to the Student Athlete Spotlight presented by The Woodward. I'm Vincent Goldschmidt. Alongside me, I have Josephine Stores. Josephine, how are we doing today? Good, how are you? I'm great. So why don't you start by letting everyone know a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what you do here at Marywood, the whole nine. My name is Josephine Source. I am a fifth year grad student here at Marywood on the Marywood women's soccer team. I am a three year captain and I'm from Monroe Bay, New York. I just got my bachelor's last year in business marketing and this year I'm here for my master's in business administration. I want to ask, why did you pick Marywood? Honestly, I committed very, very late, but it also was the COVID year, so things were kind of messed up with that. Um, my aunt and my uncle actually both went to Marywood. My aunt played for my previous coach, Coach Smith, for soccer, and my uncle played basketball here at Marywood, so that kind of had some of the reason why I wanted to come here. So how long have you played soccer for? I've been playing soccer since I was six years old. Okay, so you've been playing since you're six. Who is your biggest inspiration in the soccer world? Honestly, growing up, I have loved Alex Morgan. I don't know, just something about her and the way she plays and just like the like ego around her just really inspired me since I was young to be like her. Do you try to model your game as much? Even as you've gotten older, do you try to model your game as much as you can around her? Yes, definitely. But now that she's retired and I'm getting a little older, I am inspired by Mallory Swanson and Trinity Rodman and Sophia Smith, the top big three in women's soccer right now. So I watch them a lot more now. That's awesome. So you mentioned that you started here during the COVID year. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, a lot of student athletes dealt with that. But how was that transition, especially being a fall sport athlete, not having your season until the spring that year? Being completely honest, it was very, very hard because when you're on a team, you come in here and you have friends before classes and school even start. But for us, we didn't start practicing until late September. So I kind of came in like with not really many friends, not much to do because everything was closed down. So it was very hard. So you mentioned being on a soccer team, you have you know friends you have on that team. Now you've built a really strong connection with Riley Mulhern. Uh, I believe in both your careers, you guys have combined to assist 23 of each other's goals. I believe you've assisted her 18 times and she has assisted you five times. Uh, so what is it like having a connection like that and how does that help your team game in and game out? Last year, um, having low numbers, we kind of needed some of like the older people to step up on the team. And just seeing that me and her had that connection, every time I got the ball, I would obviously try to find her first knowing what she can do with the ball, having 21 goals last season. And she is one of my best friends off the field, so I think that kind of does help with the connection on the field. You said you're in your last year as a Pacer, and you have had a heck of a career here. You're the all-time assist leader for the women's soccer team. You were tied for second for single season assists. I believe if you play every game the rest of the season, including playoffs, you would either be tied or be the uh, sole holder of most games played for the women's soccer team and then not even to mention the accolades AC player of the year multiple players of the week first team so what have you done during your career to kind of earn all of that so it all starts out like with my parents when I was very young like paying for all those extra like private sessions one-on-one sessions with the trainer like all the extra things to just get my skills where I wanted them to be and I also knew that I wanted to go to a college where I was going to play and make an impact on the team. I didn't really want to go somewhere where I would be sitting bench for like three years up until like I became a senior. And then while I was in school, it helps that everyone on the team wants the same thing as me. Like we go to the gym on the off season, like we do extra sessions with Coach Fritch when we want to. And also I try to be on a soccer team every summer. So that helps keep up with my fitness and soccer skills. I believe if I'm accurate, you are four points away from joining the 100-point club. You and Riley would be the fifth and sixth members all time, if I'm correct about that. Um, 
how does it feel to be that close to making history? Oh, it's awesome. Just one more thing to add to the list, and I'm happy that I get to do it with Riley, one of my best friends. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So let's shift away from specifically when you're on the field. Let's go leading up to it. What is your favorite pregame meal? <laughs> Honestly, chicken tenders and buttered noodles. That's what I That's go That's what you for. go to? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, and let's say you're on a road match. Um, you're listening to music on the bus. What is the last song you're playing to get you fired up as you step off that bus? I don't have a specific song. I kind of just play our warm-up playlist, all EDM rap music. That's, okay. <laughs> that's what I listened to before. All right. So looking back at where you finished in high school and how the Pacers have had success in the three full seasons you've had here, you were a back-to-back -back state champion in high school, and you've made the conference championship uh, all three of the full seasons, making the national championship in 2022. Are you, is winning just bread in you? Like, you just keep <laughs> winning everywhere you go. I know. Well, I'm hoping to come out of my college career with a win in our AEC championship this year because my sophomore year and senior year was very upsetting, making it all the way to the conference championship and then losing, especially my sophomore year. We lost in penalty kicks. <laughs> I saw that you've done a couple internships. Uh, I believe it was... Uh, I forgot what the dental company was. It was Banco Dental. Banco Dental. I'm still there. You're yeah, still there? Serious. Okay, and it was Mind the Gap Music Festival. Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about what your responsibilities were for them and why you ended up deciding to take those internships? For Mind the Gap, it was an all online internship that I got through one of my teachers, Emily Spiker, with one of her clients. And it was like this first year festival in Utah, kind of. The whole purpose of it was like women's rights, like women's inequality in Utah is like very bad. So it was something to like support that. And I mostly did like marketing and data analytics, like kind of seeing what ads were doing good, like what ads needed help, where we were spending our money, stuff like that. And then for Banco Dental, I am a business development intern. So I work a you guys probably won't know what this is. Work a lot in Prelude. I work a lot with a bunch of vendors and just kind of helping out anywhere that I can. You mentioned a little bit, but what do you do in your free time when you're not in the classroom, when you're not working your internship, when you're not on the soccer field? I love to hang out with my friends and my boyfriend and spend time with my cat, honestly. <laughs> so in your last year as a Pacer and last year at Marywood, what is your favorite memory you've had both as an athlete and just overall in your time here at Marywood? As an athlete, 100% winning the conference my junior year. Nothing can top that. And I hope we do that again this year. Overall, probably just all the memories that I've made with my friends here. Like I've made my lifelong best friends here and I love them so much. <laughs> okay. So what are your post graduation plans? I know that's a lot to ask. There's still a little bit, there's still a good amount of time yeah. between now and then, but what do you plan on doing graduation? What do you hope to do after graduation? After graduation, I hope to move back in with my family to save some money <laughs> and get a job right out of college, hopefully. Josephine, thank you for coming on. That's all for this edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight presented by The Woodward. Make sure to check out everything The Woodward has to offer by checking out the website and make sure to like and follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Vincent Goldschmidt, and as always, go Pacers.